end of this video you will able to design a product manipulation like this by yourself so i invite you to follow my steps and tricks carefully until the end of the video actually in this manipulation niche this kind of design is very basic so i believe even if you are a beginner you can follow along with this tutorial i have created an empty document with these measurements so you can follow the exact size and the image files i am using in the video are in the description so you can download them by clicking the link also you can download the psd file if you are a member of our patreon and uh, membership is free let's start with the juice scan the image i chose here is very low res but uh, we can go to image image size and type any size you want i only change the resolution to 300 this method doesn't really make the image more detailed but it makes it easier to work with because with a small image you will see pixels when you zoom in but after changing the size the pixels become smaller so you won't see them unless you zoom in a lot i cut out the can using the pen tool this is the cleanest method you can use then i place it into the project same for these oranges but i think for this one we can use the quick selection tool place it above the can you can see here the edges aren't perfect so to make it better double click on the mask and adjust the shift edge and smooth a little bit you can also brush manually on the mask to refine it even more we need more oranges to build this base so i use different images and cut them out to create it Make sure to choose similar images, if not, the final output will look mismatched and viewers will notice. It will also be harder to blend, so find images that are as similar as possible. I speed this process because it's the same technique. Here in this area, I want to make the orange leaves come over the can to give it a 3D look. To do that, I made a selection of the orange layer and masked the can using that selection. Then we can paint the unwanted part using a white brush. This method isn't super helpful in this situation but remember it for the future, it can be really useful. Now we can move on to paint in the background. You can see we already have a color palette. When you start a design, choose proper colors. This makes things easier. I created two solid color layers, one with a dark orange and one with light yellow. I inverted the mask of the yellow one. Now we can paint. I want to create light coming from one side. So let's see which side works better for this scene. I think the right side works well. Then I duplicate the yellow layer and use other colors from the palette. You can paint freely. Here I have used 4 solid color layers and I think it looks pretty good now. Next let's add some orange slices to make the design more pleasant. One on the surface of the can and one behind it. Very simple. For the front slice, we need to create some shadows on the can. I use an exposure layer, then clip it to the can, reduce some exposure and you can now have that shadow effect on the can and paint it. Make the soft round brush thinner to paint more precisely. Now I see a little mistake. We need to make the lower part of the can orange because it's silver by default but this material might reflect the oranges. So create a color adjustment layer and play with the sliders to get that orange effect. Then I paint only on the silver area to make it uh, orange 
and make sure this adjustment layer is clipped to the can. I also add some shadows to the orange slice behind the can. I use curves this time. Why did I use exposure first? And now curves because they create different effects. To understand this better, try all three exposure, curves and brightness. Then you can pick the best one depending on the situation. I thought adding an orange leaf behind the slice might look nice. We already have the images so let's cut a leaf and place it under the orange slice but uh, above the can. Also add some shadows using the curves, maybe even a bit on the can too. Now most of the elements are placed correctly, we can paint shadows and highlights on the oranges at the base that uh, will make everything looks real, not flat. I speed this process but I only use curves and paint on the mask to match a realistic light situation. You can download the free PSD on our Patreon page. You can also buy premium PSDs and assets there. Now the design is almost done, let's add some effects. I add lens flare on the can, uh, where you can download this. You can get them from our Patreon or maybe search on Google, but uh, Google images might be lower quality. Make sure the blending mode in is screen and we can use warp to adjust. I also noticed we haven't created shadows under the can, same as before I used exposure and soft round brush to paint them. Now according to our color palette, we need to match these leaves to this green color. How do we do that? Create a hue saturation layer and make sure it clip to this layer and click this hand icon and the green color in the leaves. Now you can reduce saturation and hues to match this green color you want. I think this is perfect. Now I do this same technique for every green colors in the design. Now you need to check the edges of every element added. If they have white outlines, the design won't look smooth. So clean them up using the brush tool. These small touches make every design better. I also forget to organize the layers, so make sure to do that. Now we can refine the background a little bit. Maybe if you see some uh, mistakes or anything, uh, make sure to fix those things. Now I add some shadows and highlights to the product. Uh, to do that create a curves layer and make the dark areas more darker. And I mask out the highlight parts. Another curves layer but this time make highlights more lighter. Maybe you can try another lens flare effect on the can. Uh, let's try that too. Now here comes the interesting part. What is splashes? Use the files I have provided. Once you add them, change the blending mode to linear dodge. Try placing them and see which side looks better. For these splashes, there is no one perfect blending mode. Try a few and pick the one that works best with your design. I used linear dodge. And you can use hue saturation with these splashes to match the color palette.
After that, I add some orange leaves again. Uh, this makes the design more pleasant. I want to make this leaf more curvy so you can use puppet warp uh, try this same method and maybe add some motion blur to the leaf To make all things fresh, you can add some water bubbles to the can and maybe to the oranges. After adding this droplet image to the project, you can change the blending mode to overlay. After that, you can use uh, level adjustment layer to make this water droplets more real. If you are not familiar with this, you can use my settings. You can create a group for these bubble layers and apply a mask of the can to the group. To do that, hold CMD or control and click on the can layers thumbnail. Then click the mask icon while the group is selected. This way everything in the group stays inside the can and the bubbles won't go outside. Now you can duplicate and add bubbles all over the can, same for the orange slices. Then I add another lens flare effect to make the design more pop. Finally, let's create these highlight areas more glowing. To do that, you can duplicate the full scene and change the blending mode to screen. Apply Gaussian blur. Then add a full black mask. Now you can paint the areas you want to glowing using a white brush. After all these things, you can use camera raw filter to make the design more pop and beautiful. Check the description for all the files and our social media links.